Hi, I'm Dave Anderson. I'm the Director of Education at the Forest Society, and Lost River is one of the Forest Society's properties and it's managed in cooperation with White Mountains Attractions. Lost River is 157 acres owned by the Forest Society. It is a natural attraction. Waterfalls, boardwalks, more than a thousand steps, and it provides a really unique opportunity for families to come and have an outdoor experience in a safe and accessible environment. It's a wonderful family tradition for many people in the summertime. Lost River was formed more than 15,000 years ago when the last glaciers and ice sheet retreated over New Hampshire and protected by the Forest Society in 1912 to set aside the gorge for visitation for people to come here. So there's a long tradition of managing the property to encourage people to experience this natural attraction. Over time, ladders were added and boardwalks were added, but it's always been a place that was for people to experience nature in the summer months. People from all over who may not be hardcore hikers can come here and safely experience a magical natural outdoor setting they probably otherwise would not have gotten to see. There are features here that have gotten pretty renowned over time, especially probably the Lemon Squeeze Cave, uh, the Hall of Ships, um, the Sun Altar. There is a side boardwalk that goes up through a pothole that was carved when the river was rushing out of here after the glacier. There's an overlook that you can see an old growth forest with an incredible view into the heart of the White Mountains looking east down the Kinsman's Notch. What I've come to love most about Lost River is the people experience. When I see people outdoors in nature, having a great day, walking through Lost River Gorge, laughing with their family, their friends, their loved ones, it's a place that people really can learn and enjoy safely in an accessible environment, unplug and be together outside of nature, really a remarkable opportunity.